Viewall's TRX provides organizations with a powerful and secure centralized platform to manage their video walls within mission-critical control rooms and corporate workspaces. This video will demonstrate how easy it is to distribute visual content across an organization with drag-and-drop operations and without any programming. Now, before we dive into the TRX demo, let's have a look at a workflow diagram to understand how the display surfaces are set up in our demo. First, we have the local video walls located in our Montreal office. And just below that, we have a 2x2 video wall located in our Stuttgart office in Germany. As for the sources, over here on the left-hand side, we have three groups of sources. The general sources that are available for all video walls, the SDVOE sources for the SDVOE wall, and the KVM sources that can be distributed to the two KVM operators over here. In the middle, we have network switches that connect all our appliances. And finally, the TRX centralized management platform that routes the sources to the displays, including the KVM switch. So let's get started with the TRX demo. Over here on the left-hand side, we've set up cameras in front of the video walls to show you the result of the operations executed from the TRX interface in real time. And on the right side is the TRX software interface. This interface will be driving the four displays on the left. Here are the three video walls located in Montreal. We have a 2x2 display in our lobby, a 4K monitor in the huddle room, a 3x3 video wall in our demo room, and our showroom in Germany has a 2x2 video wall that's down here to the left. Then we have the SDVOE video wall that you don't see just yet, but let me bring up that camera from the little taskbar that I created up here. And here are our SDVOE displays. The 2x2 on the left is configured as a single video wall, and these two monitors to the right, even though they're adjacent to the video wall, are set up as independent monitors. To control the SDVOE displays, we have the SDVOE group set up in the UI over here. And finally, we have the two KVM workstations that are connected to the KVM switch. There's one curved monitor in front of the 2x2 wall up here, and a small monitor down here in the huddle room. And here they are on the TRX interface. Okay, now let's have a look at the menu with all the sources. We have many sources in a variety of different formats. Let's have a look at how easy it is to drag and drop any of these sources onto any of the video walls. Let's grab this first source over here and send it to the top left video wall. And let's also send another source to the display in the huddle room or we can send the same source to a group of video walls at once, and that's going to send our TV news channel to all three video walls that are located here in Montreal. Now let's send a camera source to the video wall located all the way in Germany. You can see this reflected on the bottom left video wall over here. Now as I double click on that surface, I can resize and rearrange the windows. Now let's drag and drop another source and another TV channel to this video wall, and let's make them a little bit smaller. Now I'd like to highlight that I'm controlling this video wall in Germany from my desktop here in Montreal. Once you have a layout that you like, you can save it. So let's save this layout and call it Test 1. Now let's have a look at the layouts on the left menu. Here's the Test 1 layout that we just saved, which is the layout that I just created on the video wall in Germany. And now that I have it saved, I can send it to any of the video walls with an easy drag and drop. Let's send it to the 2x2 up here. And now we see the exact same layout on this wall that we have in Germany. Now let's have a look at the SDVOE displays. In our menu, let's find our SDVOE sources. As I take one of these sources and drag it onto the user interface, notice that only the SDVOE compatible surfaces are highlighted, since TRX automatically recognizes source to display compatibility. As I drag and drop this SDVOE source to the bottom right monitor, you can see the content changes on the display. Here's another example of how TRX automatically identifies the source to display compatibility. 
when I try to grab a source from the group of video wall sources, TRX doesn't permit me to drop it onto any of the non-compatible SDVOE or KVM displays. This feature really facilitates the deployment and operations in an ecosystem with different source and display formats. This feature equally applies to our KVM sources. We have four KVM source computers that are only compatible with these two KVM workstations. So as I send the Mac Mini to the small monitor, you can see the content on the small monitor here has just changed. And as I send the Ubuntu server to the curved monitor, you can see the content on the curved monitor up here also change. Another KVM feature in TRX is the option to set one of the screens to private mode to make sure that nobody else can access that source. So if I try to drag and drop the Ubuntu server to another monitor, it won't let me, and I get a warning message that this source is currently in private mode on another display and can't be used here. Now let's have a look at this little taskbar that I've created up here. It's basically a mini control panel that I created using TRX's control panel designer tool. To create a control panel, I'll have to log in as an admin, so let's do that. First, I select the control panel menu, and now I can show you how to create a simple control panel. I start by creating a button that I can place wherever I want, and then I can assign an action to it. Let's select Apply Layout, and then go ahead and apply the layout that I created earlier, called Test 1. Let's send this layout to the 4K display in the huddle room, over here, and name this button Test Layout. Let's save this panel and call it Test Panel. And now I've successfully created a very basic control panel with just one button. As I click on that button, it opens the layout that we saved earlier on this 4K monitor. As you can see, it's very easy to create simple control panels without any programming. Of course, these can be customized and branded to be as simple or as sophisticated as you like. Let me show you an example of a more sophisticated control panel. Now, notice that on this panel, we've created a command to show you how you can control third-party devices. Have a close look at the light bulb located beside the exit sign all the way at the top left over here. I'll switch it on. And now I'll switch it off. Even our taskbar up here was created using the same control panel designer. See what happens when I click on button number three? It opens different layouts simultaneously on the video walls. There's really an endless number of possibilities. Let's have a look at another type of control panel with multiple functions. Here you can send camera source 5 to monitor 2, and here we see the content from that camera on the 4K monitor over here. Or send the content on the curved monitor to the big 3x3 video wall over here. The control panel designer allows you to easily create custom control panels with various background images, designs, and multiple functions. Oh, and by the way, all these control panels are web-based and can run in any browser or on any HTML-based device. Moving on to the last segment of this demo is the soft KVM capability in TRX. Let's have a look at the layout on our 2x2 video wall up here. It has content from different computers, plus some cameras. That same computer is shown on the video wall of the huddle room just below. A different computer source is shown on the 3x3 below, and that same computer is also shared with the video wall in Germany, here on the bottom left. Within the TRX interface, it's possible to have KVM control of all these monitors. As you can see here, I just brought this computer onto my own demo desktop, and now I'm able to work on that computer. And as I move this text box or modify the text itself, the changes are reflected on all the monitors that are running content from that computer, which in our case are the two bottom video walls. You can even launch multiple KVMs, and with a single keyboard and mouse, you can control them all. So here we have the two computers that are currently displayed across all the video walls, and I can control them directly from my own computer. Let's grab another video file to replace the one that's currently in the player. If I just move my mouse over to the next computer, 
and rearrange the windows, you can see on the top two displays that I'm taking control of these computers and the changes are equally reflected. This brings us to the end of our TRX demo overview. To learn more about TRX's other features, such as configuration, scripting, and automation, or to schedule a personalized demo, please get in touch with us. Thanks for watching.